What's going on guys, Ron Perita here from Techno Buffalo, and today iOS 10 has been released. So here I am, I'm gonna run off a couple new features of iOS 10, what I'm excited about, and I wanna hear from you guys as well in the comments down below. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is picking up our phone, and when we pick it up, the screen lights up on its own, the phone is ready for action. This is a very small but welcome change. It worked every time seamlessly. Unlocking the phone has also changed significantly. Now you press the home button to unlock it, and by swiping left and right, you can go either to the widgets, the camera, or if you swipe up, you can go to the control center. So these are all features and apps we're very familiar with. The way you get to them, however, is completely different. Sticking with the lock screen, we have new updated notifications. So Apple is now incorporating more 3D touch aspects into their lock screen. So for example, if you 3D touch your messages, you can pull up the entire conversation and respond to it right then and there. This is not that different than what we had before, which were quick responses. However, the context of the entire message, I guess, is much nicer. And what we saw probably get the biggest series of updates was messages. Already built into iMessage, we're now going to be seeing link previews, which is incredibly welcome. And we'll also be seeing things like handwriting support and digital touch, which are all coming from the Apple Watch. So now iMessage has its own app store, an app store of an app store, or an app store of an app rather. It'll allow you to get iMessage extensions, to get sticker packs, and integrate different aspects of messaging to further just expand the way we express and communicate with each other. This next update was a big one. You can finally now hide first party apps from Apple. You're not actually deleting them, you're hiding them. Finally. Next, we have third-party integration with Siri, which will basically allow you to say things like, order me an Uber or call me a Lyft, and you'll have that done. Control Center has also seen an update, although I'm not sure if it's the greatest update. The big thing for me was they've moved the music player over now to its own card, so you have to swipe another time other than just up before you can get to your music player. Not sure if I'm a huge fan of that. They have added 3D touch, however, for example, by using the flashlight and using 3D Touch, you can select what setting you want the flashlight on. And so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. There are a ton of other features in iOS 10 that we did not get to cover. These are simply the ones we were most excited about. But let me know in the comments down below which ones you are excited about and which ones you are looking forward to. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. We really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.